Hi there and welcome to this video tutorial in the How to Model series. Today we will be looking at the cottage roof. At the end of this tutorial you will know how to model thatch from old rope, how to model corrugated iron from old cardboard and how to apply them to your model roof. What you will need to make the thatch is some old rope, some glue and possibly a scissors. Also you will need the roof already cut to the correct size now we will first look at the thatch roof. Now to make the model thatch roof, as I've one made here, it's very easy to make. We just get our old rope and we untwist the strands of it out. And when we untwist the strands of it out and cut them to length, we're left with our thatch material. Now I cut them into about 40 millimeter lengths. Some of them are 50. It doesn't really matter as long as they're pretty, uh, as long as they're long enough to stick down and show a bit then that you'll have no glue on. And what I also do is I pre-paint the roof that we're going to attach in underneath. So it's kind of a similar color. So if the thatch doesn't fully cover it, we're not going to see the black or the gray of the card through the thatch underneath. Now the actual thatching process is fairly simple. We just use our normal clear glue and we'll try and work it in sections at a time. So we're going to attach right the way across on the first layer on the bottom. Then we're going to apply another layer on top of that. And then we're going to apply a third layer. And sometimes you'll just apply a fourth layer, which will run right up along the apex of the roof. The apex of the roof being here. So we're going to have, have four layers, one, two, three, four, and we'll always start at the bottom of the roof here, and we'll work our way up. So just lay down your line of glue. Along your model like that. Then we get our layers and we kind of straighten them out. So they kind of run straight. If you're going to pull them like that, they'll straighten them out. And we'll just start simply sticking the thatch down into place. Like so. So we carry on that process right the way along the edge here and then we'll start the process again and we put another layer overlapping this layer and we'll just carry on that same technique the whole way up until we have the whole roof covered in a nice even coat of thatch. When it's all finished and dried then what we do is we'll just come along with our scissors and any bits that are sticking up we can just cut them with the scissors and trim them off and it's also handy as well if you have a hairbrush or something a light similar lying around you can actually brush the thatch so it all runs in nice straight even lines and any odd and ends then that are sticking up we'll just trim it off with the scissors and it's as simple as that really We will now look at the corrugated iron roof and how to make it. What you will need for the corrugated iron roof is some water and a sponge, some old cardboard and some glue. Okay, now we're going to look at how we actually make the corrugated iron part of our roof, which is made from cardboard. Now the process to make this is actually fairly simple. As you can see here the corrugations this is the inner core of cardboard now it's this inner core that gets sandwiched between a top layer of cardboard and a bottom layer of cardboard which gives the actual cardboard box 
Now, this is just an offcut of an old toy box that I had, and uh, that's what I used to make the corrugated iron part of our roof. And I actually painted it black for a finish, so you can see the corrugations there. Now, how we actually make that is we just get a normal piece of cardboard cut to the same size as our roof face, and we need some water and a sponge that's just to dampen the cardboard and all we do is we just wet the cardboard with the sponge this is one I've started a bit earlier wet the cardboard with the sponge and you can see the lines start to turn dark here in it on the cardboard now when you see the lines start to turn dark that's a good sign because that means the glue that's holding this top layer to the corrugated layer is actually softening and it will allow us to peel it off so you can just start a peel and as we peel will you reveal the corrugated iron effect that we're after so fully peel off all the cardboard Of the section you look for now see here actually some of it didn't get wet enough and didn't come off that's very easy to fix again we just add a bit more water to it allow it a few seconds to soak in and you can just kind of start it off there with the scalpel in the corner if you need to We peel it off that way. When you have all the top layer of cardboard pulled off, uh, leave it aside to dry out fully and then get the bottom section of your roof. And we're actually going to glue this cardboard onto our roof like that, like so. Now, when you put the glue on it, it will be inclined to kind of slide around the place on you. So, what I do to, to kind of hold it in position is I get a piece of masking tape. And I just wrap it around just to stop it moving while it's gluing. So now it actually can't move around anywhere on me. And to help it set, then I leave it down flat. I'd leave a piece of MDF or a bit of timber over it, and I'd leave a weight down on top of that so it all it'll glue flat for me. And that's how you make corrugated iron for your roof. Finally, to glue the roof to the cottage, as you can see here, I added some support timbers just along by the edge of the wall there. Now these timbers are the exact same size timbers that we use to reinforce the walls of the model. And what they'll do is they'll just give us that extra gluing surface area along the side here. To glue our model on and we'll also we also ran a line of glue along the front and along the back of the model also so when the roof is glued onto the model as you can see here we've our thatch fully finished and we have the corrugated iron it's fully finished as well and dried out now i haven't added any paint to this yet and I also put in a chimney with a bit of a straw as well for a flue pipe. Now, when you glue on your roof, you may get a couple of gaps running up along here. It's just a matter of putting paint in there and also adding paint to the underside of the roof section as well also. And as you can see here, I added like a ridge cap along the top of the roof. All that is from is from an old cornflakes box. On the corner where it bends you can kind of see the line there that i got and i just cut along that and when it's cut i simply put it down over the top of the model there when it was cut the proper size and let it glue on now a handy trick when gluing the roof on your model is use elastic bands and wrap them around the house in the cardboard and put a few of them on along the roof and that holds the roof down perfectly 
and it'll sit lovely and flush on your cottage model. Okay, thanks.